right, we back on Alan Wake again. Alan Wake 2, Final Draft DLC, or New Game Plus, or whatever you want to call it. It's part five of the series. Uh, where did we leave off? Um, I think we left off with... of Alan okay yeah so we escaped the movie studio or the TV show studio with uh, the pictures out of Alice's shoebox with the uh, with the light the light bullet and the clicker I think I have to go to the movie theater now the murder site saying would know where to find one So in between these streams, I've been playing a little bit more of um, the other games I got. I got RoboCop now. I saw it was on sale. So I took a chance on it. I might stream that next. I've, uh, I've been... Yeah, those little black orbs are gonna explode. Zane's room, 665, was upstairs. The elevator would take me there. Yeah, and I play some more uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Still not, um. Still ain't like nowhere near like game of the year material for me, but. I can understand if you never played a game where like it's turn based, one of them computer RPG things. I mean, this one does have. It does have better production with like the uh, voice acting, the characters, like the camera zooms in while they're talking. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. And then you know you got like the the deviants out there, like the game got all types of nudity and shit in it, so that goes a long way with some people. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head. Scratch wrote return, not me. You're a fucking liar. You've given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch, he promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. Visionary. I mean, it was art. Then, when he finished, he took return and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out. Before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema where my film Nightless Night is playing.
I told you not to try anything. have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me when you're lost you're lost in your own company and cut <sighs> oh. now that is drama I had a million questions about Zane, but I had more pressing concerns. So now... I had to find the movie theater Poet Cinema. The next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. I forgot how to get here. Or get to the movie theater. I think it's one of them side streets I didn't use in this in this playthrough. But I know I really hate uh these enemies. At least in Saga, the enemies are like. I could see the searchlight beams of the movie theater on the far side of the plaza. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. At least like Saga's enemies, they're not decoys. Here you just constantly walking around shadows and then they can randomly start attacking you. Put it in that boy's mouth. Oh. Damn, what? Why is this fucking light not doing nothing? This fucking camera has a way to go. I'll meet you my story is a monster. This story is a monster. This story is a monster. Okay, yeah, this is it.
The theater appeared to be closed. Maybe the ticket could still get All me right. in. Something kept me going. A broken man. No hope, no prospects, no love. Too stubborn. I don't remember how to get in here. Is it a ladder or something? So fucking clumsy and slow. Get in here. Yeah, I don't fucking know what to do now. Super lost. I thought I was supposed to get into that other... Oh, this is just a shortcut. I thought it was like a ladder or something to get up on the roof or go behind there or something. Something kept me going. A broken man. No hope, no prospects, no love. Too stubborn to die. Like a cockroach with a misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. So that didn't tell me nothing. Oh shit, I forgot. I got a ticket. Yeah, see, I can't, like, take breaks. I'll be forgetting shit. The cinema lobby was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. 
I needed a new draft of the story. One that... Alright. Where's a black square? Or black circle? Where's the save room at? writing at some point I can't stop there's too much at stake surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night, leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere. Arriving at the cinema, I felt a monumental, terrifying revelation trembling before me, ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole. This place had significance to the cult. There was something to use there. I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me ahead of stuff. Oh, that's flare gun ammo. Alright, so now I can go put some stuff away. sure everything got a spot so I go here I 
these flashbangs, I might want to Oh yeah, and I can put the flare gun up higher. Flare gun pretty much like a bazooka. Oh shit. Alright. Is there a puddle on the floor in here? So I can change? Nope. So I got cold to the word. Does that change up here? Nope. Someone had barricaded themselves in the room. I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me ahead of scratch. event was the murder. I had to find my way to it. The first step toward the murder site. I was making progress. Do you a lot of good to talk, buddy? Do you a lot of good to talk, buddy? It was an initiation ceremony. Or so we made our new members believe. Oh, my Two stream of the finest, They had performed endless favors to earn their place among us. We had something special waiting for them. And something very special for you, Alex Casey. Who's your leader? Alan Wake? Hmm? Scratch? Zane? Give me a name! <laughs> you will meet him soon enough. There was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre, so I'd use it. circling Thomas Zane were a bottomless rabbit hole. I'd done some digging. To film Freaks, he was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema. A rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film. Tom the Poet. Before he went missing. Mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie. Played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film and early work made in Finland, Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. 
There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail. Just like Wake's books were. Okay. I thought that was going to give me another word. Sir, have a seat. Fuck it's you, following your master into La La Land. A sad bunch of clowns in funny masks and hoods, pretending to be a secret society. Well, maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. Puppet, blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. Nightless night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. Shine a light on that door. Wake, Alan. Wake. I was back out into the night. The seedy alley away from prying eyes was a good scene for dark deeds. I got to get into the booth. I think the booth is in here. I was missing something. Um. 
the New York Times. And he throw somebody off a roof. Or Oh, there it goes. I don't think they're gonna want us to, like, cut off a finger or something for this initiation, do you? Nah. I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep, like we died and went to heaven. to their death from the rooftop. And I do not remember how to get up there. something on the plot board. Okay, on the plot board. Oh, that's the M from the cinema. I was making progress. In the city trapped in eternal night, they watch the film where the night never arrives, where the night hides in your mind. Oh, shit. I swear.
Colt dumps their trash here. Where the fuck is the black ball that goes to that white? Go back to the finest. Saints film. Alright, so I did the mass. Find a way into the prediction booth. Go to the roof and find where someone fell. I got no fucking idea what I'm supposed to be doing. And I beat this shit. Prop stage back lot. Echo. This door is locked. Projector room is on the other side. Press that. What? Oh, so I gotta get in through the locked door. I thought this shit was going to be quick, man. I can't remember how to solve this puzzle.
I can't get back inside. So it can't be nothing. something about it getting closer but there ain't nowhere to put the fucking light Alright, so this is, this wasn't here on the other one. I can't believe it took me that long to figure that out. Straight to the top. The dirty cops look down in the city. There's... Oh yeah, I gotta get all the way over there.
Oh, this ain't a scene. So. A word of power over here somewhere. This line. Or maybe it's just that, uh, This shit is too hidden. Hey Tim, new map, huh? Yep. Like I've never been to New York, but I can tell you that this ain't it. I heard you humming again. <laughs> yeah, I. I can't get this song out of my head. It's a real earworm. I heard it in my dreams. The red-headed woman connected to door. I know her. Where do I know her from? Her identity changes. Connected to polyhedron, she will come for me. See? He knows, uh, what, what was her name? Jesse from Control. He remembers her. They connected. Just like in uh, Quantum Break. And I'm going to keep saying it so every time it comes up, I know that song you keep humming. It's the theme from Night Springs. That old sci-fi show? Sci-fi horror anthology. I used to write for a long time ago. Look, it sounds a bit nuts, but I think the song is connected to Door. Or, it's my subconscious telling me that this is all pretty out there. That would be good. Was it Colt? Oh, the word was the one where somebody got dropped. You fucking, don't you fucking move, or I'll blow you away. You got me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grandmaster. 
He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why'd he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I find the murder site? on my ass now. Did I get up here? Or was it all the way? Or was it, um... Uh... Sir. See a goddamn thing.
I ain't got no more. Oh fucking time, I man. Found myself shit. in a maze of film equipment. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. I'm here, you son of a bitch. I was Show there. yourself! You're a grand bastard my ass. You're a clown and a man. I was back where I started. A loop within a loop. I had to keep I'm going. Here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself! Who, who was that? Who said that? Grand master, my ass. The casing in the story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find I'm a way to the motorcycle. Show yourself. Who, who, was that? who said that? That's a real clever trick, asshole. You can run, but you can't hide. I can't remember if that's new or not. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. I'm Find a way to the nurse. any sense is in your psychotic brain 
as a fictional character in a story. You fulfilled your purpose. You brought the writer of the story here. You can go now, Casey. No, 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 I'm not going anywhere before I get some answers! How was I in that movie? How, why does all this feel so familiar? What? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? No! And welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We're just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first, here's an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as a detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? The visions are getting under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but dealing with my own reality in the dark place. Wait. What? Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? Saga Anderson, listen. I I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? Wait, oh. Scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Did we have family in the horror story? Closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. deeper into the dark place. The poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps, like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy. A curse looming over me. Oh yeah, where do I gotta go? Parliament Tower. Let's go back outside. Oh, I 
Like I did not. There wasn't enough alcohol in this city to drown the memories of this nightmare. But I damn well try. This case would never be closed. I had more questions now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. Right now I can get the fuck out of here. It was a shortcut over here. since it wasn't Zane this time. either huh you're me me I don't understand there's a lot I don't understand a dark place operates in loops time is a story I'm calling you from a different point in that story from the future I'm never getting out of here am I yes you will and no you won't and that is by your own choice what does that mean I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? Damn, what's up on that boy? Alright, so yeah, this... How many riders does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. On my original place where I had to go back and get the pictures. I follow the steps he laid out for me. But I still didn't get the uh still didn't get the achievement for <clears throat> I think get a specific video or something. Oh, that's her That's a statue of her now. Wasn't that a statue of Alan Waite? I think that's all the Alan Wake stuff. I think. Because I gotta fight the boss. What else do I do with Alan Wake? Get into the 
hole too. It's closed. No. The building was condemned. Closed up. Something was wrong. Something was missing. I had to get inside. I got a progressor story. So now I get to play with Saga again. Shit, the Hawks is on. I got this map already. Let's go. Little Valhalla nursing home. Just straight ahead to the right. Tor and Odin claim to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. swing by see the family not a bad time is it oh no I was just you know tidying the uh, the um I'm so glad you're visiting again saga but Odin and Tor can't see anyone today I was just on the phone with Tor he invited me over sorry they had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> I didn't notice these pictures before. The bad boy of fiction. Another one of those lunch boxes. I don't even think I'm gonna get enough, uh, I'm gonna get enough scraps to upgrade the weapon. Oh, thought I'd lost you. Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. 
Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Torn Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Do either of you know where I could find Torin Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He'd never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, mm. you can't say stuff like that. Alright, let me get the fuck out of here. I shouldn't the interrupt him. Built a bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for tea. This is Tor's room. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? He's in no shape to talk. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I found a photograph of you with the cultists. I found Wake's clicker. I've never connected to someone like this. You said Tor is in danger. That woman in the painting looks like Mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Sorry. <laughs> don't mind me. Giddy as a young girl. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? <laughs> No sense of 
She's one of them. Especially during the winter. There must be an overlap here somewhere. In the 90s, a group of teens went down there one Saturday night and got a little drunker than usual. The teens noticed one girl, Nora Hesburgh, was missing. They figured she just went home. When Nora's folks didn't find her in her bed the next morning, they called the police. Save room, yeah, okay. I feel bad for these guys. Getting in is forbidden, for your own safety. Time is long for those who wait. But in the end, we stand to die. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. I don't have the key. Mm, I don't even remember where to fucking go. This is your home. You don't need to keep cleaning. <laughs> I take that mop away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, for the hard being so soft. Why, that's where you are to work. <laughs> <laughs> and you know Mr. Bloom doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, box, holy ray. Just thinking about it makes my dad's foot waggle. <laughs> oh, do I have to do this fucking case board? And Odin might know something about the clicker with wake out of re oh my god it's a lot of stuff yeah yeah the clicker makes wakes writing change reality Is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. I need to get the clicker to wake and close it.
That's not right. Keep trying. You said I've been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You remember. Mandy Man Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean... Tor is in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Thank you, Rose. Puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Dark. Empty. Be ready, Saga. Tor was here. He's hurt pretty bad. But he tore off his bandages. Why? It's controlled remotely. Door needs a knob. A security computer. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Needs a password. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times.
Odin said Tor needs help. But from what? Man, I don't remember this shit. Say something about getting initiated at the third moon. Ceremony will take place the day after the next new moon. The day after the next new moon. Alright, the day after. June next new moon June seventeenth July eighteenth. Oh what year is it? Twenty twenty three. July eighteenth, twenty twenty three. And the doors are open. There's Tor. And he's out of his mind. Need to get to him. up with Tor.
What's going on? What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? She's clearly lying to me. Why? Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Cynthia took Tor. Rose. Um, Wake has returned. Oh. My. God. You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Tor and Gail in there after they lost it. I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh. And you'll need my keys to get around. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. The page mentions a missing wreck. Angus remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Where is Angus Remorse now? Angus Remorse. Where... Angus Remorse is missing.
key fob's no good without power. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has called. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which street the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. to get the power key fobs no good without power fuse is blown maybe there are spares nearby be opened on this side. <laughs> Spare fuse not locked away. Cold is the laundry room. Oh, cold is in the laundry room. Is the laundry room? Thomas Zane looked just like Wake. Is this why Odin keeps calling him Tom? The power's off. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed.
There. Power's back on. Stationed. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she know about the dark presence? I feel like I'm missing some context here. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. Tor's a romantic, huh? The Dark Presence uses people's memories, their fears, to corrupt them. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy old tale. Just his imagination. The nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. The dark water pressed itself into her.
The song was The overlap is at the pond. The cobweb and my sailing world. Here we go again. This place. Am I going in circles? I feel like I've been here before. I think I'm lost. No power. Can't use this option. <laughs> Need to get the power on to use this. The wall just disappeared. The light did that? She's here. A dead end.
locked. The key has to be nearby. I hate this. That was so much, bro. I'll be getting so much. Back again. Gotta go deeper.
me, kiddo. The hag tricked me! Tor, I'm here! I'm coming! You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Oh, shit, open the door. I'm underwater. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Let's see, let's see. Run, run, run. I could get in and open those. Oh, that is. Grand pass. You can apologize to him yourself. 
I'm getting you the hell out of here. Took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> Look in the mirror, the cop. We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain. But not here. The night's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? about my mind place you said you were my grandfather you said you were a shitty father to my mom I have the clicker mom wouldn't talk about my father figured all this out already so this goes here, and that goes there.
Don't need to go over all this again. Shouldn't spend time on old questions. Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. Tor is here, in the overlap. Gotta find him and get the fuck out. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tor's like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. Wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. And I'll need to keep an eye on him. Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the Dark Place's focus on art? Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake. To stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. Don't worry about me, kiddo. I'll drag my sorry ass over to Odin. A few shots of the Anderson's finest will fix us both up. See you soon, Saga. The FBC is holding Wake at the Sheriff's Station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake and I have the Clicker. We have to work together to stop this. Casey, do you read me, Casey? Damn it. Where are you, Casey? He better be okay. Focus, Saga. Get to the station to wake. Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office.
Yako, we're going to Akuga's house to drink some brewski. Are you coming? Oh, I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine. <laughs> Those people just burst in here and expect others to clean up after. So what do you think that whole thing at the lodge was about? I don't... Setter think. is better. It's better not to get mixed up with that bunch. Ah, so you do know something after all. out. Always a good sign. Holding cells. Is that where they're keeping Wake? Door is locked, though. Anyone here? I'm here, in the closet. Agent Estevez? Is that you? Anderson? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Looks like it's a good thing I didn't. Looks like. <laughs> My leg's busted, so I'm gonna need your help. Listen, there is a person out there with you invaded by something that we call the Shadow, and if you a don't... Taken. Yeah, I'll handle it. 